Okay, you ready? All right, go for it. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. If you haven't seen our Tannerite episode, we recommend checking it out, it's pretty cool. Today we're checking out a new product to us, which is Ironclad. The owner of Ironclad, Carter, he sent us plenty of product to test and have fun with. We're gonna do some unique tests here. So he sent a variety from half pound all the way to five pounds back here. I think we should revisit the one pound. Yeah. Now that you've got your faster camera. Yep, we were a little bit limited with frame rate when we wanted to see how you know, a binary actually detonates. Right. We've got some more frame right here, so we'll revisit that. And then of course, Ballistic Dummy Lab was nice enough to hook us up. We've got a head and a body, because a lot of you guys, after the Tannerite episode, requested to have it outside of the body as opposed to inside of it. So yeah. we're gonna go from two pounds to five pounds, but, but leave it outside yep. of the body and see what happens when that blast hits our guy. Yep, that'll be a, hopefully a good finale for this episode. Let's get the one pound out and see if we can capture some good detail. Let's do it. Okay, you ready? All right, go for it. So now we're up at 400,000 frames a second instead of 150,000. Oh yeah, okay, and big jump. So still very bright. Yeah. It's crazy how the shockwave almost looks like a silvery ribbon. Like yeah. The way that it refracts the light. Well, our problem last time with Tannerite is we didn't have a bunch of excess product, but now we do. You wanna do it again? Get it darker? Ready when you are. Everybody good? Ready? Good. <laughs> Never gets old. Nope. I've already used the minimum exposure, 260 nanoseconds, and it still was too bright. So now I've stopped down the lens from 2.8 to f8, which is like eight times less light getting into the sensor. So let's see what happens now. Whoa, is that the plastic wrapping backwards and splitting open? That's pretty cool. I think cool. it is. Oh. oh, you can see it from around the back And it's side. still so bright. But we do get some detail throughout the whole thing. Yeah, you can kind of see like different smoke patterns. Do you want to do it again? I can make it darker. I just didn't know it would have to be this dark. It can go darker? It can go darker. Oh, goodness. There's a little bit left of highlight detail, but I think we nailed it. God. If you showed me that, I would think it's a cloud. Right. Like, this is the kind of stuff, and I see it in the comments quite a bit. Because it's so abnormal to see this, yeah. again, it, it looks fake. It does look fake. You think about a binary explosion. It's, it's supersonic, it's loud, it's destructive. And this looks like if you pet it, it would be soft. Yeah. It looks like it would be like a nice furry texture. To put this in context of how dark this footage is, normal camera, normal video on a film set, it is 10 million times darker than normal footage. 10 million times. 10 million? Yeah. Holy. Yeah. And we still lost out on some detail. Wow. Yeah. My little contribution to this video. I love it. <laughs> Someone snuck a little container in there. Just imagine from their perspective, they've got like 600 pounds of binary explosive in there. What I'm actually really excited for is the two windows. I imagine like the scene in Spider-Man where That's the exactly grab box gets blown up. I want to see if we get that. Get some flame shooting through there before it erupts. <laughs> this one's kind of a one and done. Here we go. All right, you get back there. High speed ready on you. Okay. <laughs> well, the house is gone. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Weapon's clear. I don't know about you. I feel like that was the perfect amount of explosive for it. Yep. It's just disappeared. It is gone. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, that piece like... That's oh. Why have, that's why we have the pit. 
So that might have been supersonic. Did that all get ripped off from I this? I think so. Oh, <laughs> she got some distance. You find one? Yeah. <laughs> Anything wrong with her? No. So the blast just picked her up and launched her. I mean, we are, that's some distance for a little toy figure. Yeah. Is this the basket dude? Or which dude is that? I think that was our roofer. Chimney dude? I think so. So he must have gone up and fell through the tree. That's pretty funny. I hope we get to actually see him going. Oh! <laughs> that was so much more than I thought it would be. Look at him go. And that's only half a pound. So where was your aim here? I feel like it... I was aiming for his arm. Ooh. Okay, so there's your bullet. We might have to cut into the 2512 in a moment to figure out exactly where you hit. He just hit barely his arm. nicked the inside of his arm. That's like the size of a dime, that little hole that you just nailed. You snuck it right past him and then look at that glow. Look into the windows. <laughs> this is the worst gas leak explosion that you could think of. Oh, there's our person. That's the front door person. Okay, so that's why he looks different because I, I think I shot oh, his, his arm. his arm off. came off, that's yeah. why. Yep. Yeah, the problem with binary, this ironclad stuff being so bright, is that if you want to see this detail, you don't get to see the actual target, right. which kind of sucks, but... We wanted to see it. Yeah. The Spider-Man scene where the grandma gets blown up from behind. If we had, like, eight the of the sun all lighting this, we might have a shot at it, but... So, we have a watermelon. <laughs> a prize tool that'll help us later. You're showing his innards. <laughs> Pretty complex. We cut a hole in a watermelon and put the explosive in it. How much are we doing? This is one pound. One pound. Yep. Cool. We've seen what pumpkins kind of yeah. do, so um, I don't think there's going to be anything to even come look at after this. All right, high speed ready. Okay. <laughs> look at that table. Definitely the table. Weapons clear. Something about putting explosives inside a liquid just makes it so much worse and cooler. If any of our subscribers are aware, it's extremely difficult to break welds. Oh, did we crack a weld? We broke this whole one, broke that buckled and angle iron piece. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess I'll build a stronger one. We'll do two inch thick. <laughs> oh, look at it coming up. It looks like a firework just went off. I always think targets like this are cool because when they do explode, you've got the hard rind chunks and the vaporized liquid right behind it. So you get all those trails yeah. of the hard chunks followed by vaporized melon juice. What is that? Is that it glowing? right before it punctures out. It's so bright. Oh. What is that? Is it? It's like a little... It's gotta be. It's got like a little skirt on of explosion. Is it from the inside or is it reflecting like the explosion is just behind the rind about to break through and it's glowing through it. Watermelon light bulb? Essentially. As it goes up, you can see as the energy gets used up, it glows less and less and it splits right behind it. As it opens up. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Okay, well, what do you say we get a little bit more realistic with our targets and get a face up there? Yeah. Let's see what happens if you uh, have bad friends. <laughs> I think this has turned into a safety video. Yeah. Because that looks like, I don't know if this is intentional, about arm's length? Yeah. So that's kind of what I went for. Um, I don't know why, just a human measuring analog. This is two pounds. Yep, it's two pounds. We're just going to kind of see what happens here. Yeah. I do know we have a really good way to find out though. We could capture it in high speed. We could try to capture it in high speed. Okay, high speed's ready. On you. Cut. Oh yeah! Very nice. <laughs> Weapon's clear. All right, let's see how old dude fared. <sighs> hey. We have any broken jaws or anything? Oh, look at that. A piece of the container. Oh. Lodged in him. Okay. Split his chin pretty good. 
So he'd be bleeding and probably deaf and a severe headache for a while. And a lot of people said when we did the Claymore stuff, just a concussive blast that close. Yeah. That can, it's just like a TBI. It yeah, just his, rocks the brain into the His brain could be hemorrhaging and, too. Right. Okay. I don't think it actually broke anything though. What's all that debris from? Is that just that little cardboard cup? That's a lot of it though. Was that a secondary explosion or like a flare? That's the lid. I think that's the white pieces of the plastic oh, lid. Oh, okay. This looks like that stuff will kill you. I sure think like, so. That's like hot, sharp pieces of plastic. And sometimes you'll get undetonated ammonium nitrate and we can see it like flaring into it and secondary ignitions and stuff. That's a cool, it goes for a dive. I mean, if you think about it, for it to move two or three feet away on the ground, it's like someone just took your head and punched it, yeah. basically. There's nothing physical is touching it very much. It's just a blast wave. So right. I would imagine your eyes would be pressed into the back of your skull and you'd be deaf and concussed. Look at that glow. It just always kills me that these faces are just like watching it. That's a lot of debris. Those are big chunks. If some of those pieces had hit him. No, I wish they would have. I think we pulled a piece out of his jaw, didn't we? Yeah, he did take one there. Yeah. So like, look, the blast is done and then the undetonated stuff oh. deflagrates. <laughs> it must have been like hanging out on yeah. his face, caught in the gel and then got this, enough heat to. This looks like something out of like a war movie. Just like all the debris and the flames and the high contrast, so cool. The only thing left to do is to step this up. Because while that was cool, he wasn't destroyed. No. And we can't end the video. Something with needs something to that's not destroyed. Something needs to be obviously dead. Oh yeah. But what's the biggest container he sent? We have a five pounder. Oof. Yeah. And we got a bigger body, right? We do. Ballistic Dummy Lab sent us a torso. I think this is a record for ballistic high speed. Five pounds of ammonium nitrate. Yep. A record for our pit. Right. <laughs> So as promised, we have the five pounds. We've got a full torso. Yeah. You guys seen, asked for it. Because when we use Tannerite, we put it inside. We got a bunch of comments that wanted it to just be next to it. So now we've jumped it to five pounds and we've put it pretty close to him here where now it's got like a nice flat surface that it has to slam into. Hopefully we do a lot more damage to him this time. So yeah. everything in here is nice and soft and aimed to go safe directions. So. See if we can split some bodies. Let's go do it. Okay, I am set. Oh my. <laughs> that was a lot bigger. Oh God. I'm so interested in what he looks like on the front Just side. from what I can see back yeah. here, we're, we're in for a treat. I'm gonna okay. roll him, I'm gonna roll him towards this. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Only hanging on by threads of skin. Hey, it's nearly headless Nick. I'm looking right here in like the jugular notch area. What is that? Did something get shot into his neck and melted? Right here? Yeah, what is that? It must be a bunch of them. Oh. And there was nothing in between him and the, um, the container. These types of exploding targets will send out pieces of plastic. It either pulled away a lot of his chest skin or just split his chest open too. All of his bones are coming out. Oh yeah, those are all shattered. That was a grand finale if there ever was one. I, yeah. wish, that, <laughs> I wish the audience could have felt that blast off of five pounds. Yeah, that was, oh, hey. <laughs> so, what is that? I, I think that goes in there somewhere. Okay, well. Oh! <laughs> right into a blood bag. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're back in Pennsylvania. What a menacing frame though. You would think he was standing next to C4 or something. 
I expected how loud that was, but that's more flame and... If I showed you that with no context, would you guess, oh yeah, that's, that's a binary? No. That's an exploding target? Nope. No way. Not one bit. This ironclad stuff is awesome. It's like you get to work with high explosives without having high explosives. Right. You want some more frame rate? So each frame here is 10 microseconds. Look at that big shockwave. There's so much heat, the plastic container just turns into strings of melted yeah, plastic. It does too, yeah. And what's cool is you can tell that we got almost a 100% complete detonation because after the initial blast, there's only little tiny bits of flames in the air. There's so much chaos and energy in there. So bright. Okay, well, I guess before the archery episode, I'll be getting a, a new one of those. Yeah, you hear that, guys? We are going to do oh. archery eventually. Uh, spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> I think job well done. I can't think of a better way to prove how dangerous ammonium nitrate exploding targets can be. Yeah, and I think this was a, this was a good level of destruction. Yeah, we can always step it up, so right. let us know, guys. I think that was a, a proper sequel to ammonium nitrate in general. I think so. What does ammonium nitrate do outside of a body? And I think this answers it pretty well. So, Ask and you uh, shall receive. I definitely consider uh, checking out Ironclad. They seem to have a very unique variety of product types. They've got colorful stuff for uh, gender reveals, cool stuff like that. I think their packaging is awesome too. Yeah. If you're into exploding targets or just, you know, having some fun with this stuff out on the farm, definitely consider checking out Age of Ironclad. We have a coupon code. They wanted to reach out to our audience, give them an excellent deal. BHS25 will give you 25% off. Check out their URL in the description below. Age of Ironclad, get yourself a good deal on some really fun targets. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, they obviously work really well. We can only find two of our figurines. Yeah, we had so. four, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, they're probably off in the field. Yep. All right, so this begs the question, what else do you guys want to see with Ironclad targets? We have, as you can see, up to five pounds, and I'm sure we can fabricate a larger amount as well oh, together. Oh, I'm sure we can. So uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Make sure you head over to Age of Ironclad, all that good stuff, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Not nearly as destructive this time. Okay, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs>